and I just cough. That's, you know, that's what I do. <laughs> Folks, it's Sunday. Welcome to the Tri-Generational Margoo Campaign. Thanks for joining us. I uh, hope you aren't too groggy with Daylight Savings Time kicking on. Uh, we pretty much are, but we're going to struggle through and uh, hammer this baby out. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord channel. If you want to buy our stuff, hey, we got stuff. Find it, buy it, don't buy it, doesn't matter. Uh, thanks to Pirate Dog Dice uh, for making dice that really roll well. And if your game stinks, don't forget Adventure Sense. Uh, they make a plethora of different scents. Alex, what do you got there? It's the Ottoman Harem. There you go. Ottoman My Harem. Uh, I'm <laughs> holding on to the pirate ship which smells like old coal. Uh, they make a lot of different scents. They also make a system called Shine System. So if you're a budding writer, take a look at that. And coming soon uh, is How to RPG with Your Cat, which I have played and I had a lot of fun. Uh, folks, these guys are the Margu campaign. They are stuck in the land of the short people. Uh, and they are just having a ball. We'll go ahead and recap that in just a moment. First, let's introduce you to the cast, starting with a senior member, Frank Sr. Who are, hey, you? Uh, Who are you playing? I'm Frank Sr. I'm playing Leaf, the Druid. I'm just here to keep order and keep people from, you know, going off the deep end and doing things they shouldn't to these little people. I'm here in the name there. of justice. Uh <laughs> Next up is AJ. Uh, he is uh, just as puzzled as I am as to that scenario. Yeah, I'm <laughs> AJ, I'm playing Felix the Great, uh, and I am here to snip, snip, robbers. snip, snip. Yes, I don't know anything uh, about the short people here in the town. They're just going to be a casualty. They, yeah, again, they're going to be a casualty again. Uh, Jason, you're up next. Who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, Copious Full Bitters the Third, the Gnomish Witch, and Purveyor of Fine uh, Beverages. And I just want to know uh, who fumbled their insight check to listen or believe what Leaf was talking about because there's what? Law, law and order is not synonymous with Leaf the Druid. I, I wrote a natural 20 on my persuasion. You should have believed that. You had disadvantage. Just Well, my second roll was a one. There we go. That, that yeah, that, I'm buying that one. Uh, finally, last but not least, for the moment, uh, little Frank, who are you? Who are you playing? Oh, he's playing the Ice Queen. He's frozen. Elsa, uh, let's uh, let, it go. let it go, man. Fang, I print screen that one, so he'll be a meme here shortly. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, uh, little Frank is playing Man Fang, a, a dragon born warrior swinging two axes uh, when he can actually hit. Uh, we're gonna have a little bit of issues on his stream, he is having problems with his internet, and he's back. We uh, have a photo. Don't we have a photo now? Man we do We do have a photo. It'll be a meme by the end of the night. <laughs> I, th I think it'll be clueless. <laughs> when the DM asks you to roll the die and you don't know which. Uh, little Frank, you got anything to add? I mentioned that you were a dragonborn swinging two axes. Doesn't have audio. That's going to be a good, good stream today. <laughs> so, Man face attacking the elves. His tech, guy, his tech guy is late to the scene. It's true. Uh, as Man Fang works out his uh, additional technical problems, we have one more uh, slated to join us, and that would be Nicholas, a.k.a. Haggis Crapstain. And that's all he's got to say about that. So uh, last time these guys joined the Moonlight Festival, none of them uh, were able to remember that Robert of Zeppelin, who will be joining us a little bit later, uh, has lycanthropy. Uh, fortunately, during the celebration, Felix the Great was able to go ahead and find some gamblers and uh, roll a little bit of dice. And uh, I, I think you actually came out ahead, did you not? Well, yes, I did. I was up twenty gold pieces. It was, yeah. it was I a good night for Felix so far. Uh, 
unfortunately, Robert of Zeppelin was out on the perimeter and he found some orcs, uh, as did copious full bidders at the far end of town. After an altercation uh, with some of the, uh, what is it, the Order, the Nuns of the Silver Moon, an elven convent, came in and determined that the orcs uh, were also were creatures, as was Robert of Zeppelin. A harried standoff ensued, and Robert is currently encased in a silver cage, and he's just a wee bit pissed. Ah, uh, that catches you up to speed welcome aboard gentlemen what you want to do robert ain't happy um i want to know felix is still near me and we're away from leaf i'm like felix do how well do we know robert at this point in the, 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 the <laughs> i mean the working? <clears throat> we can hear you oh <clears throat> uh, thank god <sighs> i mean we've been on several different islands. We've known him for a little while, but I could take him or leave him. <laughs> oh, when he rewatches this, he's going to be pissed. <laughs> I I know he's. It's he's not going to take that long. <laughs> verbally assaulted uh, my impugned my honor and character a number of times. Actively worked against me. That is true. Uh, committed genocide uh, is what I've been told of a halfling village, uh, solely responsible for the genocide of an entire town from what the rumor <coughs> does. That's uh, rumor. Nothing but rumor. Didn't he chop up the poor children and feed them to the elders? Yes, that too. I heard that rumor as well. So he's pure chaotic evil. And probably responsible for the loss of your ship, the Pistorus. Yes, that's why we're marooned on this continent because he, uh, I believe he incited a mutiny, if I remember right. Uh, actually, that was Hoggis. Or no, you're right. That was Robert. It was, Robert. was it Robert? Yeah, I thought it was right. Crapstain. Well, I think Crapstain ended up t assuming the mantle of captain when uh, uh, Robert left the ship. But Yeah, Crapstain uh, pissed off the crew when he let the halflings run mm -hmm. rodshod. Uh, Robert uh, almost made it a full-on mutiny by telling them if they didn't like it, he'd just cut them down. <laughs> so, also, uh, last time, Felix and Copius have hammered out a deal with Hein Kenna, a local brew mistress. Uh, papers have been signed, deals have been made, uh, seals have been sealed. So, uh, Robert, I will assume, is screaming a litany of profane words at the Sisters of the Moon, and they appear to be getting out a silver chain and wrapping the cage itself on it. Uh, they are avoiding his blows as he is not wanting to touch the silver as it burns. So, uh, Leaf, you and Manfang are closest to this uh, problem. Yep. What would you guys like to do? I'm, I'm staying, I'm observing, close enough to see what's going on with the uh, nuns and Robert. <clears throat> they are chanting uh, in Elvish. It appears to be some kind of religious incantation, uh, but it is not causing any harm or any pain, apparently, to Robert. Uh, two of these sisters have separated from the group, and they are putting the orcs to the flame to cleanse their tortured souls. So uh, with that, the other six nuns continue to wrap the cage in a silver chain. Okay. Can I ask what the chain is for? To the elves, if they listen. <laughs> it is to take him back to our abbey. Could you show us where that is? Because, you know, you're wrapping our friend in some chains. And, you know, I really, we just met you. So you get where I'm coming from. You know, not really a strange creature. Ah, thanks. <laughs> uh, but our abbey is to the east. How far east? <clears throat> Since you do not technically have a map at this time, you guys are here in Triorki. Uh, she says that they are just down the road about an hour or two away. Uh, but clearly... Your friend is A, belligerent, B, uh, heavy, 
and uh, C, it would just be far easier to uh, remove the evil from his body there. Okay. Uh, well, sisters, we are ready to go. I'm going to interject a man thing, some man thing. Let's let him do this. Then we won't have to deal with this shit every time the moon comes up. But how are they going to go are, with him? We'll go with how him. Gonna, how are they going to move him without burning him since he's like standing in the cage without sitting I don't down? know. Levitating? Since you asked, the chain is uh, magical and teleportation. Uh, one last question before we leave as the other two nuns arrive. Uh, everybody, they all grab the space on the silver chain. The head nun says, did you want his head back when we're done? Ah, uh, that would be very much appreciated. Well, Certainly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Boom, they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's great. Um, I think we should start moving maybe a tiny bit faster towards that abacus. Uh, man Fang, we need to get the other ones in the head for this abbey. They're all the way down that way. They'll be fine. <laughs> they're, they're too far gone. Well, I, I think Copius and Felix had finished up their haggling and were were just on the periphery, not close enough to get uh, hammered by these nuns, but uh, they're, they're fairly close. But you can tell uh, a chain of blue lightning encompasses the silver chain and whoop, all eight Silver Chain and Robert are gone. And apparently the only thing you asked for was his head back. I mean, if I said no, they just weren't even going to give it to us. I mean... No, yeah. you should have said we want all of him back. <laughs> and I know, but what, what if they said no? And they just snapped away. <laughs> I know, but what if they said no and just snapped away and we never got anything back? I well, mean, yeah, I guess now you're not going to be able to tell, are you? And when your dad gets home, you can tell him you just sentenced him to death. He's right there. He's you can tell right him there. you sentenced him to death. I said, was to this death Robert or head. was he taller? <laughs> I, I cast level 20 explosion upon myself and kill everything within a 130 foot radius. Hold, hold on a second. Oh, everybody save. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to break PG 13 and say, Frank, have I ever called you an asshole lately? Lately, no. Okay, I'm just serving that up for you. Yeah, no, that, no, that works. Uh, so, uh, Copius and Felix, go ahead and give me a persuade or perception at disadvantage to see if you are able to capture the nuance of this issue. I don't even have to roll the second die. No. Uh, no. Man Fang and Leaf, uh, there's some questions that you guys have. <laughs> I'm going to tell, bring Felix and, and Copius and Haggis, who's not here yet, but up to date on what's going on and tell them we need to head to the Abbey. It's just about an hour down the road. Uh, what time of day is it again? Is it? It's like and evening? Felix. Just so you know, moon's rising. These are clerics. They can take care of that other little problem that you. Have. <laughs> okay. Don't let the lady do that in confidence. Enough. I'm saying that loud enough for every halfling in the area <laughs> to hear me. In the immediate vicinity. Damn right. I'm gonna look at. Uh, Crap stain and be like, yeah, Felix, we'll get that for you. <laughs> <laughs> there isn't a bus big enough to throw all you guys underneath it. Uh, I'm sure there is somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Copius, Felix, and Haggis have been uh, debriefed. Uh, and, you know, do, do, do we really need to hurry? He'll probably be okay, right? They probably won't do shit at the, the peak of moonlight. Probably, maybe. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? <laughs> I think well, it's very it likely what head they bring back. That's the best time to do it. It's probably the best time to do it, but I mean, they're an hour away. It's dark. Come on. They'll bring him back. They're going to bring his head back at least. Uh, yeah, I did and ask for that. Do we? I don't know. Would we miss Robert? Yeah. Are we just sitting here talking about this for about like 10 minutes now? Yes. Well, he's off. Okay, I just want to make sure we were doing that. Uh, I'm pretty hey, sure jerk! Drink for fruit bars at my face. It's your fruit bar. Shut up. I thought you need a snack. Here. Hey, mute. 
Mew, that's, that's 11 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dad, you keep throwing fruit balls at me. I'm dying. <laughs> so, I mean, you can go down the road. You're going to miss the end of the festival. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Well, hey, yeah, before we decide, can we ask someone? So what's what's the ending to the festival? What's the last performance, beer celebration? Sacrifice. I mean, I already did my performance, so I'm pretty much done now. The festivities are over when I stop. Uh, I'm a level of exactly. exhaustion right now. There, there is a blessing, uh, and everyone is granted good fortune for a full year. It's kind of like the uh, candlesticks. Uh, but how? I'm going to say, how can there be a blessing? Your blessers left her. Oh, no, we've got a local shaman. He's just not here yet. Mm. Oh, well, I, I, wonder where you, I don't know that we can leave before we get blessed, right? <laughs> I need good fortune. I'm uh, hit. My, I'm, my fortune won't go anywhere. Well, let's so split the going. party up then. No I, shaman or whatever would ever be able to improve my luck at all. Hey, or, or, hey man fang. You going with me or you stay in here? I'll go with you. I mean, I want to get the head. So, wait, so Leaf is riding the zonkey or are you leaving the zonkey here? Nope, I'm going to ride my zonkey. So Manfang's running behind the zonkey? No, he might as well take somebody else as soon as Okay, he looks as good with you. <laughs> you know, uh, I'll no, take no, 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 no. I'm, I, I, oh, yeah. I'm well, I was so going to take Buttercup. So, uh, no, 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 definitely take some down the road. Whether he likes it or not. So, Manfang, what are you riding, though? Manfang, you can ride You can ride mine if they're going, and I'll just run along beside you. And that would be a lot nicer, I would like yeah. to do that. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, everybody going or no? Apparently, yeah. we're all going, because if not, Leaf is going to take a zonkey. Yep. So, are we taking all of the zonkeys? Yep. Through the woods at night. Yep. Apparently at so. Time. Uh, what what rate of speed are you going to travel on this eh, iffy kind of uh, trail? Uh, Zonky, you know, uh, is it a trail or a road? I thought this was off the main road. It, it is, but th these aren't great roads. You're in the south. You're in Dixieland here. We'll go at a a, a, a fairly quick walk. Carefully. How about just a, a straight walk, careful walk? Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. It's faster uh, than a gnome walking. <laughs> yes. Uh, you leave out the south end of town where the uh, nuns had originally arrived and head down the trail. I thought uh, they were east. They are. But the trail, they came up from the south, and that's where the main road is. Okay. So on the map, it shows directly out, mm -hmm. but it's, it's the southern Okay, region. all right. So as you head out over the hills, everybody give me a D20 roll, please. 16. What was it? Just a straight up D20. Straight up D20, 15. I did pretty well. So the six, uh, yeah, you're going to take an arrow. <laughs> or at least an arrow is going to be shot at you. Uh, and an arrow goes whizzing over your head. Everybody roll for initiative as hobgoblins break the noise. No, what, what are you doing? What are you, oh. Natural 20. 11. Don't come over here and experience it. One. Uh, copious bit the big one. These damn brown dice, they're terrible. Hmm. Uh, man, Fang, what was yours? What was it again? I had to talk to the old person. <laughs> Initiative. Roll your initiative, Frank. It's a die 20. All right. That's a 10. Solid 10. That's still better than me. Uh, Net <sighs> 20, you go first as hobgoblins break through. Uh, How many time, do I see? You see six. And the biggest one is coming at you along with a smaller one. Uh, da, 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 da. How far away, please? Uh, they break through the underbrush and they are in melee range. Right. And that's how it goes. Yeah, just one high. second. I'm just finding my uh, my spells. 
I but lost an cast... instant to everybody but Felix, by the way. <laughs> I'm casting Thunder Wave. Okay. Uh, green will be the boss. Green, nat 20, other one, three. So. All right. It only takes half. Is... And is not pushed back. So. Yep. Three die eight. Three die eight. How many levels above level one? Frank, just from a time time count, uh, is it more than an hour since we um, started the original combat with Oof, the orcs? In that's the an north? eight. Mm -hmm. right. And a you, five. You, you've been traveling an hour. That's okay. 13 and a seven. That's 20 points. So 20 and 10. Both are still alive. I stand corrected. Uh, one of the hobgoblins is dead. Uh, next up on the list is the 11. That's Copious. Wow, that is such a sad series of initiatives. Uh, Copious will cast Shadow Armor, and if he still has an action, he'll shoot Eldritch Blast at the nearest hobgoblin. Sure. Uh, let's see, 19 and 22 on uh, Eldritch both, Blast. Both hit. Five points on one blast, five points on the other blast. Got it. Next up is the 10, solid 10. That's Man Fang. <coughs> Man Fang, you're up. I know. I'm going. He was grabbing a pencil. I was grabbing the pencil. Have they gotten a hat box for your head so that you can still travel with them yet? I've got a bag. Okay, All right. I got plans, bitches. Hey. It's PG-13. You can't say that. That's appropriate for PG-13. You're up. All right, cool. I am... So they're the ones that are closest to me. There is one. One? I'll hit it. Bag him up. That's not hitting him. That's seven. That's not hit. Well, what, what, what's hit? 18. No, no, no you're definitely Because <laughs> you got a plus eight, so you had 16. You were close. Yeah, eight, 18 on the regulars, 17 for some obscure reason on the captain. Uh, that brings us to me, Leaf. Uh, the captain gets two attacks. Yes, he gets two attacks. Roll low. Uh, seven and a fourteen. Add four. Does an eighteen get you? Eighteen gets me. Okay, let's use some murder hobo. Wah, wah. Seven plus two, nine hit points of damage on. Oh, you Felix. did was piss me off. Yep. On Felix, uh, nine plus four is thirteen. That's not going to do it. On Manfang, eleven plus four, fifteen is not going to do it. And Copious. 15 plus 4 is a 19. I assume that will do it. Uh, D8 is a long longsword. 3 plus 1 is 4 damage. Uh, Felix, it's up to you. You notice that the guy who shot the arrow at you will be engaging in uh, melee next round. And he is going to go after uh, Manfang. So Manfang will have two on him. Does that mean that I can sneak attack him? No, he's the one that shot at you. Okay, uh, you, didn't you think can, so. Yeah. What about the leader? Is he engaged with somebody else? He is engaged with Leaf. I'm going to aim for the leader and fire an arrow at him. Sure. <coughs> that will catch him off guard. I don't think I can hit him, though. 13. Nope. Uh, top of the order, Leaf Druid with an at 20. I'm going to do Flame Blade. Sure. I think I have to roll to hit with that, don't I? Yep. And that uses my, what you call it, bonus. That's Spell 8 casting. and 14, 22. Yep, that hits. Come on, hobo dice. That's 12. One more. And 6, 18. <laughs> It's not bad. He's still up. I, I just, care. I just, just pissed him off. I just tickled <laughs> with my hobo guys. Uh, the 11, copious. Uh, point blank range. Nearest one. Eldritch Blast. 19 and yeah. 
23. Hit. Uh, uh. 11 points with the first blast, 11 points with the second blast. That is enough to put him down. Down. Uh, Man Fang, one of them is rushing out of the underbrush, so you now have two. Uh, you have your choice. What do you mean? Two attacks, or he's got two to choose from? I got two to choose from. Two to choose from. All right. You get two attacks. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah, he um, just rolls I'll like just, crap. I, yeah, I'll just keep hitting the one that's closest to me. While I'm rage. <laughs> As a uh, conscious effort, I'm going to... Hey, 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 just because you're keeping your head doesn't mean you can tell him. <laughs> it's going to speak to him. It's going to be a subconscious. I'm just going to hold up his head like Medusa, and it's just going to turn people into stone. Yeah, right. They'll just laugh. <laughs> They'll freeze laughing. Roll. Are you going to rage? Yes, I will. He's going to rage. I'm raging. I'm so angry. Because you're plus two on your damage. Ah, so... That's 18. That's 18. Actually, that's 20. You hit with the first attack. Do the second roll. To get the second one. That's a 19, which is a critical. So that's yep. uh, two plus half. Damage, damage modifier. All right, so let's do the non critical one first. So roll your damage. And are Type you attacking up. the same one or splitting your attack? You have to make that decision. I'm attacking the one. I want to kill him. All right. Kill him dead. Good chance. Plus five. So 10 points on the first one. Roll for the other, roll damage twice. Yeah. That's eight. Eight. <laughs> One. You suck. Nine plus five. So that's 14. 24 total damage. Dead. Yay. Number four is down. Uh, that brings it to me. Uh, Leaf. You killed someone. You're vicious if you hit. The boss. Uh, 19 and nine. 13's oh, not going to get you, but the other one will. It's a critical. It's like rolling. Uh, nine hit points again as he slashes into your gut region. Uh, on Copious, two plus four. On uh, Man Fang, there's two of them. Or no, just one of them. Uh, 17 plus four. And then on Felix, 18 plus four. So that's going to do it. If you got hit by the regular ones, you take six hit points of damage. And that Brings us to the end of the round for Felix. I'm going to attack the leader again. And I think 17 does hit. 17 hits the leader, 18 hits the regulars. That's why I was attacking the leader. <laughs> I hit him with the 17. Wow. Yeah. Uh, 25 <laughs> hit points. Uh, that puts him down with an arrow into the back of the head. Nicely done. Top of the round, round three. Leaf, as you are prepared to swing on your opponent, he falls, feathered arrow sticking out of his head. Behind him is Felix. Uh, so you have Felix to thank for not hitting you in the face this time. So you are up. There is one on Felix, one on Manfang, and that is it. Muted, Leaf. Keep an ear up. I said, which one is closest to me? Uh, that would be... That, that's the one I'm going to attack anyways, whoever it is. Yep. Uh, 26. Yep, easy. Okay, Hobo, you, you're you killing me now, son of a bitch. Uh, 11 points. Still up. Uh, uh -huh. co or, yeah, Copious, you're up. Uh, you nearest, finished off yours. Yep. So the nearest one, two Eldritch Blasts. Man fangs. Sure, oh, uh, so 14 on one roll and uh, and a one on the other roll. Yes! Right man Damn. fangs. Damn! Oh, <laughs> Why? Why is it me? Because you're closest. Four, is that halved? That's the half. Four you damage, man are... fangs. Are... Did you, you feel see something? That, did you, you feel see something that hit? magic user in the woods, Man Fang? I think it's on the tree. It's a squirrel. The magic squirrel. <laughs> man, Man Fang, you're up <laughs> with a ten. You're a little bit off kilter after getting blasted in the spine. Spine? I thought Mashed it was right blaster. up the boyka. Frank, Frankie, do you have your uh, next character ready? It sounds like Frank's on a wipeout mission. 
There's a there's two shooters. Well, I, 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 I've hit two of you guys. That's all I've done. <laughs> yeah. Well, we we self inflict all the time, anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Is it my turn? Mm -hmm. All righty. There, there is one on you. Get two attacks. Nope. Not the one didn't hit. Is this? No, it don't hit. matter. He missed on. All right. I missed both. Didn't he fumble, sucks. but he sucks. I can only good. I can only do one good attack around, and that's it. Yeah. For like every uh, three minutes. On Felix. 19 again, plus four. On Manfang, 17 again, plus four. Each of you take six damage from the long swords as they are cutting you up for garnishes. Felix, it's time to get serious about your guy. I'm going to shoot an arrow, and with a 14, I miss. Uh. <laughs> Top of round four. Same thing. Uh, 24. Uh, that's 10 and 4. 14 points. Just enough to, okay, you, uh, hey. to kill AJ or Felix's I got you, uh, aggressor. Copious. Uh, hit, hit the other guy. <laughs> so <laughs> I know they're both butt ugly, but the other guy. Which one's the other guy again? Uh, Robert, but he's not here right now. <laughs> uh, 18 to hit? Is that what the, Yeah, I yeah. missed both. Both blasts miss, but no fun. Uh, oh, that means I get one more crack at Mankind. Why so mean to me? Two. Uh, I miss. Felix, there's only one left. Could you maybe hit somebody? <laughs> With a 17, I still miss. Oof. <laughs> I can't hit shit. Okay, Leaf. Five rounds in. There's only one left. Mute. Five points. Oh, Grandpa. That's still sucks. alive. And the hobos are letting me down now. Copious, a chance for redemption. 25, does that hit? Yeah, that gets them. Okay, so there's uh, 11 points of damage. Good enough. Okay. Uh, Man Fang, you've been saved. Yay, Copious. Copious is saved. You're welcome, Man Fang. Yeah, yeah thanks. Uh, yeah. Robert, give me a D20 straight up roll, please. They're checking if you're dying or not. 13. Uh, you wake up. You are in silver shackles that are burning your wrists and ankles. You Oops. seem to be laying on your back in some kind of wooden temple. Uh, heads of wolves, bears, and rats are carved in, and each is adorned with a small gemstone. Uh, hovering over you, carrying a silver dagger, is one of the nuns, with a huge headdress. Uh, and it appears as though you are going to be ritually sacrificed. The I'm casting nun. Blade Ward. The flying <laughs> nun is going to sacrifice you. Your, hand, your hands are chained. Is that just verbal only? Just says self. It doesn't, it, that's the, it doesn't say verbal. It just says range, self. Blade Ward... Or, you could create a bonfire underneath her, you know. Yeah, I, I like that. Or would that require your hands? It says VS. What's that? Verbal and verbal and sonic. So yeah, you can't do it. You got to move okay. your hands. You got to do both. Which one? That sounds like BS to me, Robert. It does. But up, up. Uh, you see her lips moving, but you don't hear her. <laughs> is the other problem. Just like being married. <laughs> Oh, no, he'll hear. <laughs> he just won't pay attention. Uh, yeah, there ain't a lot I can do. Yeah, you can't do nothing. You want to bang you like around? You can say a silent prayer. I can do lightning lure. Yeah, that's all you can do. <laughs> you also notice that uh, your skin is feeling rather bristly. And uh, 
your sense of smell is increasing astronomically as the wear rat in you is coming to the surface. You better hope none of those nubs let it fart, but so what does lightning lure do? I had to get my phone. Oh no, I'm right here. What am I yeah. talking about? Drag, yeah. drag someone to him. Yeah. And cause lightning damage. Hey, aren't you a bard? Can't you sing him a song? Yeah, I don't think uh, their level is going to do a damn bit of barting in barter, bar, bar, but it's Yama. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they've affected me already because I can't speak. Are you going after the head one with the silver dagger? Yes. 18 on the strength check. She's not coming with you, but she's going to take damage, I think. I think it's one die eight for that spell. It is. Unless you want to. At fifth level, it's. Well, well actually, I got to roll this uh, die four. Oh, that's right. Three. <laughs> Boom! Wild magic it is. This cannot go wrong. 45. And I just <sighs> spaced, so let me find it. 45, you say? Yep. Go ahead and roll your damage for me. Oh. oh. Seven. Freaking interesting. Uh, that is not going to make her day at all, and you feel that you have casted Armor of Agathus on yourself as a third level. <laughs> so, uh, that's going to piss them off. Let me just make sure what that does. Uh, huh, that's no, 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 no. I got turned back on. Don't. You get your five temporary hit points, uh, and now they are ticked. Oh, I'm sorry. I stand corrected. Uh, second level or higher, both temporary hit points and cold damage increase by five. You get fifteen hit points because it is third level. And anybody trying to attack you will take 15. Uh, you can see the consternation rise in the Alpidus's face as she figures out what you have done. And her, her, her brow wrinkles. And uh, you can Good. tell that she's asking for something. Uh, nah. <laughs> uh, ooh, 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 a few ooh. moments later, a silver great sword is brought to her. <laughs> that bitch. <laughs> she uh, hefts yeah. it, uh, but there appears to be dissenting opinion. Give me an insight check. Just be glad it wasn't the suppository of silence. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's what I was hoping for. <laughs> 17. Uh, it appears as though her acolytes are warning her and offering an alternative to uh, an immediate action. Tell them to shut up. <laughs> Let the beatings commence. Is that what I'm lip reading? Uh, the Abydus, uh is not happy at all. Uh, storms out of whatever this is because you have a very limited field of vision uh, and it appears as though the other nuns are leaving, leaving only a single nun to watch over you. Uh, she looks at you uh, with disdain, but it appears as though you are not going to be carved up at this moment which is good news. Back in the uh -huh. battlefield, uh, you guys have traveled for an hour, and uh, according to the nuns, you might have another hour to go. Who wants to D12 against me? I will. At seven. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, oh. You follow the trail, and there's a little sign uh, with an arrow pointing to... Uh, Sisters of the Silver Moon. Uh, through the trees, you notice a wooden structure. Oh, that's cool. Okay. 
I'm just going to keep heading that way, keep my awareness up. Uh, nothing moving around. It's got to be close to midnight uh, as you get up to the door. There's a little rope there attached to a bell, a very heavy oaken door, bars your way. You I was know. really hoping for some really big knockers on the door. Can't tell the robes are too long. <laughs> yeah. So oh. you can bash in the door or you no, can try No, no, bell. no, no. Give the rope a little chug. Cha-ching, cha-ching. I'm, I'm seeing Rocky at the end. <laughs> ding, ding. Uh, Welcome. <laughs> Come in from the rain. A moment later, a nun dressed in the same garb as uh, from the town greets you. Can I help you? I'll tell her while we're there to check on our, our compatriot that they uh, brought there to cure. D12 against me. Seven again. Nine this time. Uh, I believe your friend is already dead. Are you here for the head? Um, yes, 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 yes. I find that hard to believe. I would like to see him. I would also like to see the head. Uh, all of him, not just his head. The head Come in. Nice, but all of them is okay. Come in. I will get the head out of this. Uh, meanwhile, back in the temple with no idea what the time frame is, uh, Robert, it appears as though your spells have worn off. The nuns come back in, and you see... Uh, uh, what's the or or, or Abbotus Cratchit uh, holding up the <laughs> giant silver sword? Uh, silence is still in effect, and you hear, you can see something is going on. Uh, she raises it high above her head, and finally uh, receives a tap on the shoulder just as she is about to. Uh, an argument ensues. Give me an insight check. Oh, sure. Just hang up, buddy. Uh, nine. You are in full bore were rat form. Yeah. Great. So, so you do not know what is going on. Uh, back out in the lobby. Haggis, Copius, Manfang, Leaf, and Felix, you wait what seems to be an extended period of time. Uh, do you want to venture into the abbey through another door or wait as requested? I will wait myself. I will. Uh, I was thinking about kicking down the door, but that might be a nice idea. No. I'm not you, so do what you want. <laughs> I, guys, I really think we should kick down the store. Just bust uh, in there. Uh, Maybe we should go have a look around. Like what Man Fang, said. Kick Man, down Fang, the Man Fang, don't kick down anything. I we like can't it. we can't whip this bunch. Why you know, hey, they no, they no, they're they're no a bunch of old ladies. They can't be that strong. That sounds like loser talk to me. Let me yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's loser talk, all right. You got another character ready to step in? Uh no, but it'll be ready soon. You might want to go ahead and get that done now. <laughs> you ass gonna be on your own. How is this like so an abbot is like a tower kind of thing, right? A, a, no, it's an abbey. It, it, it's an abbey. It's uh it, this particular abbey is laid out in a pentagram formation. Okay. So is there any other way we could enter this facility? No. No, just the front door, no windows, no nothing. It's what well, you are already inside. Okay. Yeah, we're in it. Oh, right, cool. She we're just up. told us to wait here in the lobby. Yeah. That is that is what it looks like. You already came in that first door, and you are in the waiting room. And just for the record, I brought my zonky in with me. <laughs> okay did it, did everybody bring their zonky in because this <laughs> this rings of a major scene. <laughs> Sorry, with you running this show, my ass ain't leaving my zonky outdoors. <laughs> Is Buttercup outside? Uh, yeah, he was yeah. until this conversation started. <laughs> yeah, I think Buttercup's still going to be outside. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. So hey, we come up to an abbey. I mean, so I'm, I'm picturing an abbey where there is a, 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 a sort of a public entrance, but then a secured area to get past to go into the 
the Correct. Correct. You are you are in the public area at this. So point. in the public area, so the, it's not like the the zonkeys are completely outside in the woods, outside a wall, right? They're in the public sort of area, right inside the main entrance of the the abbey. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, that's, that's where we're at. Is. Could I knock on the security door that we've yeah, the yeah. kind of in front? Could just knock on it and, and as as obnoxiously as I can, just ask them: Are they done yet? If they're done yet. <laughs> sure, go ahead. All right, I will do that. I have to roll B twenty. All right. Yes. It's a thirteen. I think I muted myself in time for that sneeze. Thirteen. No answer. No uh, answer. I guess uh, you wanted to wander around. This, There's another door anywhere. This is the only other door. So you come in through a door, you're in a public access space, and then there's another door to the interior of the abbey. Did anyone check the outside of the abbey? Like do a circle around, look for Maybe anything not. else? You can do that. I mean, I, you're small. They haven't seen you yet. You I can do that. Sure, you can go Perhaps outside. I could be of assistance to Manfang. I'll go over and inspect the door, see if we can look. Can we both knock on the door at the same time? Oh, I could pick the door, maybe. Yeah. That's that would be great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you want me to do it? Yeah. I have uh, these tools. I could. That has something. Hoggins oh, dexterous fingers, of course. A D twelve. D twelve against me. Uh, if Hoggins is going to pick the door, I'm going to step back away six. again. Nine. Uh, you step back. Hoggins uh, scrunches over, starts fiddling with it, uh, and just as he starts to get it. The door swings open, and there are a pair of nuns, and they just kind of look down at him. I don't know what he was doing. He was just standing there trying to pick the door. I, I, I don't I, know him. I couldn't find my glasses. I, uh, it's... I see. Go ahead. Roll the bullshit meter. <laughs> uh, oh, no. He's not going to make that persuasion roll. <laughs> Do I try? Uh, so... Uh, th this one has a weird headdress on, though. Kind of looks like an in-charge individual. Uh, an older elf. Uh, no sense of humor whatsoever. You can, you can read that right off the shoot. This person does not like humor uh, and likes bullshit even less. Why but are you Are here? we the wrong party to be in here? <laughs> yeah. Why are we here? We are here to find our friend. Oh, the diplomat speaks. Um, your <laughs> friend would be what? Huh? Excuse me. I could not hear. Uh, your friend is what? He's like, he's a pretty big, he's about like this big. Um, yeah, he's kind of tall. <laughs> no, he's kinda, he kind of looks kind of like, he's very hairy. He likes cheese a lot. Have you got a guy in here like that? It's not is, is this the one from Triorki? Yes. Yes, you have interrupted a sacred ceremony. Could I interrupt again and just... Could I watch? <laughs> <laughs> you want to watch the sacred ceremony? Of yeah. course. I mean, I'm not going to copy it or anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm I stick I my tried. hand on the door as she's closing it and say, excuse me, sister, we've come yes. a long way. Uh, some of us need to use the bathroom. Do you have a bathroom? <laughs> We're on a mission from Gad. <laughs> Perhaps we could use the indoor toilets. <laughs> there is no indoor. <laughs> Medieval time. It's out in the woods. It, it is outside. <laughs> it's just the third tree to the left. Do not use the strangely colored leaves. Unless you like rashes. Okay. Okay. Well, I made sure my uh, replacement my character's up to date with you jokers <laughs> bringing me uh, the help. Oh, you mean first level? <laughs> oh, I got to go back to first level? I might as well play a zonkey at that point. <laughs> I think you have been. <laughs> you that one gets rid. Uh, so, uh, I mean, I go ahead. So, I'm just so Copius does not care for elves, generally speaking. He's afraid of them. So he's right. been thrust all the way back into the shadows as far as he can in this room, away from all the action. But so far, what he's observed 
Hag is trying to pick the door lock and they open it on him. Mm-hmm. Man Fang saying, do you have somebody that's furry that likes cheese? Mm-hmm. Can I watch your sacred rituals? And Felix <laughs> asking to use the bathroom, right? That's the sum yeah, of it? That, that is the sum of the facts. And I'd be sleeping over in the corner. Oh, with a donkey. donkey. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yes, you have brought farm animals into their <laughs> sacred church. <laughs> Yeah. They love us at parties. All right, so, so Copius has nothing to lose. He'll try to um, mm-hmm. uh, talk to the abbotess, I guess, the, the one in the headdress that has no She sense. exhales loudly. <laughs> what do you want now? So he's, he's going to explain that um, their traveling companion from Triorchi that they took, we understand he is a victim of lycanthropy, and we are concerned for his welfare. He likes cheese a lot, and he's very tall. No, no need to worry. We're about to resolve all of his issues. How? Will he still be alive following that resolution? Could I oh, watch? Oh. <laughs> Is there any way we can get to a point where he <laughs> will be alive at the end of uh, a ceremony to cure him of that dreaded, horrid disease that we just now realized he has? D12 against me? <laughs> I'm going to come back as a level one total paladin to kill everybody. Eleven. Uh, the sister looks at another sister who is just inside the door. Closes the door a bit, but you can still see her, her fingers holding the door, so it's not going to be completely shut. Anybody want to slam her fingers in the door? <laughs> I'm going to accidentally <laughs> kind of fall, but also kind of grab the door as I fall backwards. Door handle. You'll notice that her strength is quite impressive holding up your 230-pound fat-ass frame. Uh, although you do see her white knuckle it. And then she just lets go <laughs> and lets you fall into Leaf's zonkey. Uh, the, door, the door then opens up again and Copius like is asked <laughs> how much do you care about this individual? Very because much. His, his state is uh, advanced. I mean, he's a nice guy. But if it's incurable, have you ever had a brother before? It's like, uh... <laughs> have you ever had a husband, Miss Nun? I, uh, you, I, you guys are letting the young ones do this. <laughs> hey, um, Robert, you're about. I'm gonna to go. Die. I'm gonna go print my character sheet now. Level one, you said. <laughs> now let's let's see this deception roll. Ooh, that's not a very good deception roll. Um. But the I way love him with all of my heart. <laughs> so, Copius is not going to answer the question that was asked. He's going to answer the question that he wants to answer. He's going to say, it is important to our traveling group that we try to resolve this and keep Robert alive. To what end? What are you asking, sister? I'm losing appendage. That's I'm going to say so we can leave. I'm assuming I woke up when some big fat-ass lizard hit the floor. I would assume so. You, slumberer, because I rolled a two. Yep. What mission are you on that this diminutive individual refuses to answer? Not, it's not a mission as such. We're just travelers. So he lied. Eh, not really. Our mission is to explore the lands and see as much of them as we can. Are you on the Enterprise? <laughs> yeah. Is this a yeah. five-year mission? <laughs> oh, no. Much longer than that. More like, a, you know. I just want to point out. I'm more like an odyssey. You're being away. <laughs> uh, the the Abbotus shakes her head. No, he is too dangerous in his current state. I do, I not, mean, think, I, I do I, not think we can. But we like him a lot. I go up to the nun and say, and, and uh, persuading, by the way, I'm saying, I'm a doctor. <laughs> can I take a look at him, please? You know, let's share our knowledge and try to help him. <laughs> Are you a chiropractor? Because that's not a real doctor. <laughs> 
What kind of doctor are you? Medical one doctor. One that works in... Homeopath. What's it, what's it called? What's it called when you shapeshift? Can- calanthropy? Lycanthropy? Yeah. No, just yeah. let him pronounce it wrong and say it completely wrong. <laughs> I am a physician of uh, Entomology. <laughs> <laughs> Not etymology, entomology. Yeah, Robert, you're screwed. <laughs> hey, I'm um, right. So, Robert, meanwhile, you every time you touch the manacles, you can feel it burn your rat-like claws. Uh, the nuns shift nervously, trying to figure out where the head abbotus is. I feel and, like I should be gnawing my arms off. Coyote. No, just <laughs> Sim- to simp- simply a flesh wound. Uh, you can see that the nuns are communicating back and forth, but the silence spell seems to be fully intact. You still don't have a full range of movement, so you still don't know where you are. Uh, the abbotus uh, begins to shut the door and is stopped by someone off camera, so to speak. Uh, she's not buying it. Uh, but she asks one more time, how much is your friend worth to you? Very much. Uh, like a lot, a lot. Like this much. If I say he means a lot, do I have to roll to see if like, I'm lying? If she can tell I'm lying? Mm. <laughs> he means so much to me. Give me your deception, Earl. Damn. Um, if she doesn't respond TV. to this last one, I'm just kicking down the door. What what is it, Haggis? Sixteen. She held up my giant lizard body. Twenty plus one. Or no, door. fifteen plus uh, one. Uh, she seems unimpressed. I'm gonna say, uh, are we talking how much he's worth to us in gold? No. Because uh, our gold went down with our ship. What? I, I'm gonna answer it this way. So if he was on fire across the street, <laughs> we would line up to pee on him and put that fire out. Well, uh, copious can't go that far. I would not cross the street. <laughs> you know, I would just sister, pee in a balloon and chuck that, and you know, you miss. You yeah, miss. He, he, I'll tell you, he's, he's worth. A, uh, he's our companion. You know, he's important to us. What you got, Felix? Sister, as you can see, we have spent many hours with this individual, so he doesn't mean as much to us as he does to the children that he helped in Lightreed. Perhaps you can understand. He had to help them get close to the entire high. orphanage. You better roll awful high there, bud. I better roll high. <laughs> he, helped he helped them get that much closer to the orphanage. No kids were left hungry after he left Lightreach. I assure you of that. That's true. That is really true. <laughs> Go ahead and roll your deception. Big money, big money. <laughs> oh, it's a three before bonuses. So I think... <laughs> <laughs> so, did you, you get that? Dice. Did, did you get the character sheet printed out yet? <laughs> he's currently. Trying. He's currently. But to be fair, I was not lying. He not did lying. feed the entire orphanage. With the uh, other orphans. That, that is true. Uh, rolled another two. Uh, the Abbotus will uh, talk to Leaf again and say, there is a process that we can try and remove the curse. However, it doesn't always work. Uh, it depends on the constitution of the well, individual. How, how, how bad are the effects if it doesn't work? Won't you, out, uh... out of the three times I have done it, two succumb to the injuries. Okay, it sounds why perfect. Why don't you let me heal his his wounds first, and then do the process? If I'm there to sustain him, maybe he'll be able to get through it. Uh, that's not how it works. We could we could heal him. Uh, the process is just very invasive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wait, could oh you yeah, <laughs> I saw it. Can we can we watch? I that? saw. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody Can wants you... to take a paint a picture of that. I saw the silver fist on the stick that the woman was holding back there. Uh, oh uh, wait, it, PG, it, PG, 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 yeah, PG. yeah. Well, no, it's used for punching, right? 
Yes, for punching yeah, him in yeah, the yeah. in the in the punch belly, him with a silver in the belly. Fist. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's what I thought you meant. Up, right? Well, look, I, I so I, if he survives, it, it is a very expensive process. Uh, it takes a lot of energy. Uh, we would be remiss if we did not receive something quid pro quo. How uh, much? Fine, Felix. It's, it's not exactly. It's not exactly money. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait, we've got just what you want. Right there, Felix. Is a a pro. Are we talking courtesan? No. Uh there are ruins in the western mountains uh, oh. said to house a great evil and a gemstone valued by our order. Uh we would request if he lives. Um, and is still mentally competent uh, and may not no. be able to have children. Uh, <laughs> that might be a we, blessing. <laughs> we, we, would, we would request that your group accept voluntarily a geese gaze gauze spell to procure said item. You by voluntarily taking it, you would not receive a saving throw. Is she speaking to me in Elvish or common? She is speaking to you in common because she does not know that you understand Elvish. Well, I'm a half elf. That's pretty apparent. You are a sub race. <laughs> she is a pure. Oh, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so the rest yeah. of us can okay. hear this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But the dire of is coming up too. So. Okay, and I assume you want the one gem, so anything else that we procure is ours. That's acceptable. Uh, I'll turn around to the guy and say, well, what do you think? Wait, huddle up, huddle up, huddle up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, team, what's going on? Okay, I'm pretty up. sure. What happens if we fail? We die. It's, a ge it's a geese. We don't, we can't fail. Nope. You, you, if you fail, you die. Yeah. I just want to make sure that's clear. So secondly, are we sure we can't just put the geese on Robert himself? He's not here. If you are willing to save him, it must be all of you or none of you. The oh. road ahead is dangerous and will require a combined effort. So we Maybe. tried. Sorry, Robert. <laughs> We've already Please been to the temple in the mountains and we have the stone. I have it right here. Can we just pass it off, you think? I'm not I'm whispering this to, in the hug. <laughs> I'm going to no. say, she's right there, man. <laughs> yes, yes, whispering, whispering uh, in the huddle. You're not, it's this stone, if it means a great deal to them, there's the significance. You're not going to pass that they, phony piece of glass off on. You think yeah, they've seen it before? Well, they seem to know what the hell it is, so I'm going to say yes. What's our time frame to get the stone? Uh, you'll have a week. Crap. How far away is the monastery temple ruins? A week. Two days? Two weeks. Actually, hang on a second. I, my <laughs> numbers. <laughs> have a week. It's, it's two weeks away. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, the journey is three days. So there and back. I will give you 10 days. All right. What? So what do you think? What are the dangers on the trip there and back? If we only have 10 days to get the jewel and return it. Uh, Smidge's Roadhouse, I would not recommend the barbecue. Well, I have a that's for the first, first thing we'll do is stop for barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> Roadhouse. <laughs> Roadkill. If this yeah. gem means so much to you, why didn't you oh, already go get it? <laughs> right. uh, the dangers are prolific. You guys seem like you can handle it. Have you ever done a of a stone. You have a zonky? Rip your throat out at the roadhouse. Are, are you willing to trade a zonky for... I mean, for I got a nice zonky in the back if you're... Is it her name is cup? Buttercup. <laughs> a real fine breed. A nice, a very pristine albino zonky. Okay, Robert can die. It's fine. We Wait, have, we have no on. need for zonkies. Okay, one more question. Um, you sure. mentioned that he... he May, uh, uh, yeah, let's just say be uh, insane 
following a procedure and impotent. And if he is, we don't have to go is what she said. Well, I was going to I mean, realistically, he's insane now. Um, is there any way we could pre-program him to be sane through the procedure? He's going to be like, hi, guys. My name is... It will depend on uh, the ability of his constitution. Can we, uh, if we decide to do this, we're in need of supplies. Can we get those here? Like food? Uh, food, but I'm also thinking healing potions. If it's as bad as you say when we get there, we're going to need them. Yeah, I am also in kind of a lot of pain. A couple uh, of silver items to protect us from other wear creatures out there. Uh, leaf D20, I'll D12. 18. Uh, 10. Uh, we have eight potions that you can use on this trip. Uh, okay. As for Felix, you D20, I'll D12. 19. Six. We could uh, dip your weapons in the holy metal. Uh, that might work, but we we do not use martial weapons here. What about me? Except okay. that giant silver sword that she's got behind her. Yeah. Back. I'm thinking more like silver rings or something to keep us safe in case we start to turn ourselves, we would instantly know. Could we get the maybe animal maybe animal some animal made of silver necklaces? Some chains. I'm all right with and dipping my battle axes in silver. I don't silver have a problem with that. Silver on our side. Uh, she yeah. will have. There's uh, two, fancy. four, six of you. Uh, she has one ring, but four amulets. Okay. Now, ring. assuming he survives, your associate would not mm -hmm. really need that. Because if successful, uh, he will be immune to lycanthropy. Oh. Whoa, there, look at benefit. There you go. All right. right. He is a loon. All right. Uh, and they, if, if they fail, at the, the procedure fails, no. We people, don't have to do it. Right? <sighs> I suppose uh, you will not be placed under any geese spell if you wish to voluntarily take on the mission, you would be paid handsomely. But it is your friend's life and freedom versus payment. You got that first level character rolled up? <laughs> Working on the first level because my secondary level six is uh, in the background. And what what is he again or she or it? My 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 level six backup don't character. Him, don't tell him. You'll find out if he ever comes around. Well, there's one way to find out in a hurry. Oh wait, no, you have to go back to level one. Gotta go back to level one. <laughs> I'm off. I'm I'm for doing it myself. It's up to you. But letting me die, you guys are doing a damn fine job. No, all for saving your life. You really ha, ha, have you ever seen anybody try and kill you more without using a weapon? I know. <laughs> I mean, I did. I've never seen anybody try to kill me more by saving. Well, no, that's a lie. Manfang did that one other time on a one shot. That's true. I would just like to point out we've tried to negotiate this. Our roles just sucked. I don't think you're allowed to live. So uh, she she's ready to go uh, slice some dice. So she's going to need an answer. I say yes. Well, yes. We've, said, we've said yes. Agus? Agus is good. He didn't care. Back in the main chapel, uh, <laughs> Man Fang, or Man Get no Fang. dessert tonight if you do. Robert, you notice all of the nuns kind of look down towards your feet as if there was a doorway down there. Uh, <laughs> the looming figure with the weird headdress approaches with the great silver sword, uh, looks you over, does something. You have friends, and you can hear plain as day in common. Aren't I a rat, though? Yes. So his response is, I just didn't know if I'd be able to comprehend anything or if my mind is just 
rage. You'll, you'll, you'll be able to understand this. Okay. Could he? Can you respond? Is the thing. Can you he respond correctly? Is the thing. Which is probably going to be a no. Oh, is, is that a die roll? She started off with, "So you have friends?" Question mark. <laughs> Passive aggressive NPCs are my specialty. You have friends. <laughs> Oh, you have friends. No, it's friends. you have friends. Friends. Fire. Fire. Cheese. Fire. Friends. Friends. So cheese. Fire. Fire. Grammar, worm tongue. What do you want to do? Can you oh, that? am I Grimer worm tongue? Oh, I didn't know I was raised up that high in life. Uh, well, yeah, this could be the last time we ever see you. So I know. I got split screen right now. One's rolling up a character. The other one's playing this game. <laughs> Uh, so do you want to nod or give her some other kind of positive feedback that yeah you got from her? okay yeah. she takes the sword and hands it across your body to one of the other nuns lays it on top of your chest <laughs> uh, she pulls out this five prong amulet leans down this is gonna hurt. Oh no! <laughs> and slams it into your chest. A burning sensation, along with the smell of charred Our hair. flesh. Yeah, just causes excruciating pain. Excruciating. Let, wait, let me uh, see your help real quick. Tell me he's squealing, and we can hear it. I want he, Kobe he, to he, smile. He is pooping. The pain hurts so bad. <laughs> that that is eight hit points to start. And the Ooh, searing flesh start. is going to leave you a nasty scar. Give nope. me a con. I, save. I'm just curious. What happened with that plus 15 hit points I had added on? You're down to seven. <laughs> okay. Did she take any damage? Because don't they re doesn't that revert? I couldn't remember what you said. Not in this chapel, it's not gonna revert. Okay. Uh, yeah, if she touches you, she takes cold damage. But she is not touching you, just the silver item. Am I doing a con save? Yep. 17. Very nice. How many hit points you got left? Uh, do the math. Do the math. Do the math. Do the math. Uh, do the math. I'm trying. Do the math. Do the math. Do the math. Uh, minus 11 think, to that. Think, so that think, is... Think, shut think, the think. hell up. 38. Oh, yeah. You're going to be fine. <laughs> Maybe. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Does that take into account the extra five? Or that that was including the extra five. Fair enough. Uh, the pain is is just you can feel it pulsing through your veins. Your little rat like face uh, is in agony. This round, <laughs> Ooh. Uh, that's eleven hit points uh, that you take, and I'm going to need another Constitution. Well, that's that's twenty seven left. Uh, I smoke Constitution. That's 20. Dirty 20. Uh, so far, so good, except for the serious amount of pain. Uh, another roll. And you can... Ooh. <laughs> 16. Uh, you can just... You know be funny if I smell the charring the flesh. What was that? Uh, you can smell the charring flesh, the burning, but you also notice that your nose is retracting and your uh, spindly rat-like claws are also shrinking back towards the meaty fist as you begin could, to change. Hey, could I take a peek inside the door just to see what's kind of going on? Sure, are you going to open it? Uh, this is very slowly and quietly. I expect you're screaming, right, in pain? I'm chittering in pain. I expect he's, like, screaming and yelping. Uh, oh, yeah, you can hear him. Yeah, then I will slowly kind of open the door as quietly as I can. And there are three elven nuns on the other side. Just ah. looking. Hey, Robert, I just want so you what to... I see is they have a cylinder looking thing and they're like penetrating his chest area. With no, you do not see them. I don't see that. I only no, see the three. They're on the, there's three of them here and all this is going on over here. Okay, there's, there's, a, a, wall wall of there's a wall of none between you and what's going on. All right. Uh, Robert, your constitution? That one. <laughs> yeah, that's a seven. Really? <laughs> hey, are you going to die yet? I can't tell. We'll see. 
Fair enough. Uh, one last action. Uh, the abbess leans in. Last one, my friend. Nine hit points of damage. <laughs> and your final con save. Uh, 22. <clears throat> she lifts the silver amulet or silver religious symbol off. The smell is excruciating because, of course, when you are burned severely, you also crap yourself. So you've crapped in the center of their temple. Uh, smoke rises from your chest as you are going to have a permanent emblem uh, burned into your flesh, which you have been marked you. by the hand of God. I can. But you will be protected from lycanthropy forever, they say. Uh, unfortunately, you have lost two points of charisma. <laughs> now you know what it feels like, huh? It was not intelligence, so you got lucky. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, hey, you know what? I'm still better looking than you. Hey. Now you have a scar. You have the mark of God on your chest. Yeah, but I just button up my uh, top, and they can't see mine. I just gotta wear a ski mask and That's look like true. I'm robbing everything. And uh, man, man, Fang, behind the three ladies, uh, the lady in the headdress comes in, and she's got like blood all over her oh. arms. Uh, the three move aside. Wait, when they parted, could I see Robert alive? No, I couldn't. No, all you see is an unmoving figure uh, and bare feet. So he looks dead, right? He looks dead. All right, cool. I just want to confirm that. But give me an insight. Let's see if he withers at all. Insight, which is it? Does it have a plus? What's my insight? Insight is plus four, so that's 12. 12. Plus four, and you only got a 12. It was. I rolled an eight. Okay, he looks dead to you. Uh, she waves you back into the menagerie with, uh, Leaf, roll a d20. If you roll a one or a two, your zonky shit's in their waiting room. <laughs> what do you roll? 19. Okay. Uh, your donkey's holding on to it quite well. The evidence comes out, and she's covered in blood. I'm, I'm going to say, well, how'd it go? Well, he's dead. Um, he will live. Is he? We do not know yet. Okay. He's going to come out of the room just... <laughs> you know, we got this... Our, our, our other companion here that's been having a little problem with the uh, ladies, if you know what I mean. Uh, immediately... Uh, Did she look at me? I hope not. Who again? She looks at you, Leaf, and goes, Right, companion, I understand. Yeah, hey, not a problem. I <laughs> uh, think you can fix him up. Felix, come here. And I'll tell Felix, I said, You need to tell her about your little, you know, issue, you know, with the sweats and stuff. Maybe she can help you. That wasn't a problem. It was just Oh, no, that is a problem. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, That's why okay. you kept hitting the apothecary on your way to the pink house. <laughs> that was for a different reason. The issue that I'm having, I just get sweaty sometimes when I'm seasick. Very sweaty. On land. Okay. On land. Seasick on land. Yes, in the middle of the cold nights. It's weird. Uh -huh. it's weird. Do you have any strange itching? Well, I mean, yes. In the <laughs> nether regions? Yes, but I thought that was unrelated due to some other <laughs> recreational activities. A lot of horse riding. Yeah. Yeah, horse like riding. Kind of unkind for all those people. Uh, she turns back to Leaf and says... This one? That one. D12 against me, Felix. <laughs> D12. 
Yeah, you'll need to change your lifestyle in order to resolve that issue. So no more sailing on boats, you're saying? Sure, we'll say sailing on boats. Okay. She's like 800 years old, so yeah. your, your ability to get jack shit over her. Is... See, let's do some math here, guys. She's 800 years old. I wonder what level she is. One? Level What's her one? charisma? I wonder what her charisma is. <laughs> the 800, the 800 no, no. elf that's probably covered in wrinkles. Yes. I guess she's right. probably got a higher dexterity than you have. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Challenge. Mr. Fingers. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it right there. Mr. Well, let, can you bring, bring uh, uh, got his damn name, Robert. That's okay, go funny. ahead. Her charisma oh, is 20, life. but it's not beauty. <clears throat> yeah. She's very persuasive. Uh, it will take about an hour for your friend to recover. Okay. Uh, assuming there are no lingering after effects. Could I go uh, hold his hand in the recovery room? You cannot. Uh, okay. Please wait outside and take that animal out before it shits all over our area. Okay. I'll go when I'm good and ready. Thank you. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, I, don't uh, I, don't, I don't have a problem with that. I'll go outside. I'm going to lean into the sister one more time. So, sister, there's nothing you can do for this issue that I'm having? I will try and get you something. Thank you. Come <laughs> 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 oh, right, guys. Uh, Robert, uh, your head is swimming. Your eyes are watering. You are in a significant amount of pain. Uh, the nuns have all left the room. Uh, what seems like an hour has gone by, the smell is finally starting to dampen or you're just getting used to it. Uh, you're kind of squishing around on the altar and realize that you have indeed crapped yourself. Uh, and the uh, head lady comes back in. How are we feeling? Oh, did that crap leave a stain? Uh, <laughs> how, how, how am I feeling? You want me to tell you how I'm feeling? I'll tell you how I'm feeling. I'm feeling pretty damn good. Let me tell you how damn good I'm feeling. I'm feeling so. And that's all I got to say. <laughs> well, it's good to know that your vigor is back. What we're going to do is we're going hit to point. heal you. <clears throat> Better than zero. We're going to heal you. Uh, and then you are willingly going to accept a spell uh, to go find a stone. Your friends have already agreed to this situation, and they will also be suitably uh, enchanted. Well, uh, friends? What friends? Who's got friends? I, just I, I myself <laughs> thought that was a lie as well. <laughs> <laughs> Backstabbing bastards left me for dead, took my zonkey and fed it to a shark. <laughs> And the littlest one saved your life. Your friends, or I'll say traveling companions, have agreed to find a relic from some ruins to the west. Uh, however, the stipulation was an expensive amount of money, which I'm told that you do not have. <clears throat> so they have agreed that they, as well as you, uh, would be placed under a spell of enchantment. Uh, to make sure that we get our due, is that going to be an issue? I think so. I didn't agree to this. Wait a minute. They agreed to it, not me. We can probably put the lycanthropy back. Oh, oh! you think you're going to touch me again? I'll give you something to touch, sister. Let's talk about that. I'm, a little, I'm full of spit and vinegar right now. Can't sure, yeah, but you're still manacled. Uh you think this is the first time I've been chained down? Billy was tougher than you. <laughs> she she hefts the great silver sword and says, look, we can do this one of two ways. One, you didn't survive. Two, you're going to go get our stone for us. <laughs> yeah, I'll get you a stone. <laughs> a kidney stone. I didn't say what stone. I said <clears throat> okay. Before she heals you, give me one more constitution check. 13. No, 14 plus 3. 
Yeah, that burning's going to bother you for a day or two. Uh, she summons the powers of her deity. Her hands glow blue. She lays hands upon you, and you are completely rejuvenated. Oh, oh, really? Completely? So I got my charisma back? No. That's going to be permanent loss. <laughs> How does it feel to be ugly like me? I'm not ugly like you. Yeah, you are ugly. No, he's not, he's no. not he's ugly. Man he's man developed he's, a tick where he always ugly does on the this. Inside. Oh, now you always stretch your chest. That's always great. Yeah. Yeah. You're you you're just ugly, son. Yeah, hey. but just think about where Felix is always scratching his cell. Yeah. Could be worse. I just want to talk to the sister before she heals Robert all the way. Are we sure we can't come to a different arrangement before you heal him completely back up? No. <clears throat> Uh, what was our agreed upon time? Ten days? Ten days. Twelve days. Uh, I got ten, I got twelve, I got twelve, I got thirteen. Do I got thirteen? You got thirteen, you got thirteen, you got fourteen. Fourteen, twenty-one days. <clears throat> I bet you we can do it in nine three days. Back. We can do it in five. <laughs> uh, can I make a request uh, of the nuns? Uh, could you please give hose him down before we leave? Why? Uh, cause it smells like he cracked himself. Are you sure that's not your donkey? No, nah, my donkey's clean and beautiful. <clears throat> uh, we will do what he want. Uh, we aren't sure that his armor is gonna fit. Why? Why is his armor not going to fit? Well, we had to take it off of him, and it was kind of sticky, so might have gotten bent. Some straps might have been cut. <clears throat> do any of you have mending? I do. I do. <laughs> Robert that, does. That, that will probably help. Uh, Robert, you are going to agree to the enchantment. My studded leather. Mm -hmm. But I, yeah, I don't sound like I have much of a choice. Parents uh, tell myself to the devil. Before Robert is brought out, uh, she requests each of you take a knee so that she can go ahead and put the enchantment on each of you. <clears throat> Any problems with that? Nope. I'd like to use a restroom first, so I step out of the abbey for the enchantment. Sure. Thank you. I'm an anti-enchantment. I don't like <coughs> any of this. I will not enchantment my kids. I'm, I'm outside the doorway. They, can, they, made me they leave can with develop myself. their own immune system. She'll, she'll step out to enchant you. Uh, uh, copious Felix, Manfang, Leaf, uh, you are all enchanted. You don't feel any different. Uh, there's no negative feelings there. Uh, no positive feelings. You just have an overwhelming desire to go ahead and see this through and resolve it. Uh, she then says, where's the short one? Anybody seen Haggis? He th I think he went outside for a second. Oh, no, I'm outside. He went he went over there to pee. So. I'm completely like running <laughs> to the other side of the Abbey for a bit. Sure. This is a great idea. Robert's not getting out. <laughs> oh, hell. Might want to go find your friend. Yeah. <clears throat> I can go get him. Hopefully he didn't run into the woods behind the abbey, because that's problematic. Ah. Mm. Just I guess I'll turn into a cat and go after him. Can that's I look around? That's where the I will turn it enough to go after. And is it where the cemetery we all, is? We all know Full Moon has weird things with the cemetery. Probably going to be fine. Not that a big issue. Fun. Is that where you're going to oh. run, Haggis? Um, maybe I could take a look around the cemetery for a second. Don't uh, go inside. Just look <laughs> at it. Sure. It's got uh, fencing. Wrought iron fencing. Not silver. Uh, a lot of headstones, a few memoriams in there. Uh, give me a perception check. Uh, 14. Something's moving around. Can I see how big it is? Maybe. Go check it out, man. You've already gone this uh, far. Yeah, give me an investigation check. Go see if it's a ghost. Man. Uh, Ooh. Should have made it a banshee. 
Nah. Age of about 10 years. Not natural 20. <laughs> that's plus uh, two. It's a humanoid size, maybe Felix or Leaf size. Uh, grayish skin, kind of shambling. Uh, it takes a look at you and it's dead black eyes, straggly white hair. Looks like a conductor of a symphony. Uh, starts to head towards you. Uh, and it moves surprisingly quickly. So it's zombie, not a zombie. zombie. It's a drow like, lich king. <laughs> like, um, does, does, is he running like with a, a weapon out? Uh, purpose? Is he running with a purpose? I can't tell. They don't no, need no, no, no weapon whatsoever. Go ahead and do initiative. I'm all right. What did they do? Don't worry, Haggis. Um, 11. Lich king? Eight. Eight. Uh, what do you want to do? This thing is coming at you. Hmm. Should pour your acid on it. That's a good idea, man. <laughs> I'll run back to the to the nun, but you know, in a way that I could look at the thing and be like, "Come, come this way, come, come this way." But I'm gonna run to the nun. Hey, come this way. I gotta show you something. <laughs> you come running around the corner. Your britches are still hitched up. Kneel so that I may give you the blessing. Okay, but then like I. Look around to see if I can see the thing coming, like right at me while I'm kneeling. She grabs a hold of your head to hold it still, <laughs> <laughs> and plants her hand on it. Uh, currently, mightily upset. Uh, <laughs> you feel no different, uh, other than uh, an overwhelming desire to go ahead and go get this gem for some reason. Uh, once released, you look around the corner. Nothing. Hey guys, I found a friend. You guys should go check out in the cemetery. I'll go check it out. No, I mean, won't. he sounds he sounds pretty good. <laughs> sure. Uh, Robert, they go ahead and give you back your armor. Uh, D12 against me. How much of it is broken? <laughs> Five. Uh, it's pretty beat up. They, they cut a lot of shit. <laughs> uh, but nothing mending cannot. Fix. That's all right. I'm shaking the shit out of my pants all over their damn floor. I'm, I'm sure. Uh, well, they took your pants off because they knew that you'd shit yourself. So uh, I gotta, at, at least hand that back to you. I've got that black armor that came off the head orc. The I do an arcana. Uh, I want to cast uh, Detect Magic on it. It's magical. Okay. It, it Can I tell fit. anything with an arcana check? Uh, give me your roll. Yeah. <coughs> That's uh, 17. Uh, do you speak orc? See what? I do. Speak orc? I do. But does leaf? A torque? Orc. 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 Do you speak orc? Oh, do I read orc? I'm sorry. I you, can't hear you. You speak orc. I <laughs> don't know. I can't remember which language it took. Say or. Oh. <laughs> yes, man. Yes, man. <clears throat> Is the head uh, nun still with us? Yeah. Uh, Copious, do you want an amulet or the solitary ring? Abilities. Uh, if the ring's still available, Copious is partial to rings if it'll fit. It's not magical, it's just made of silver. No, he uh, just likes rings. Felix, uh, hey. amulet, man, fang, amulet, haggis, amulet, and leaf, amulet. Aren't they <laughs> wearing like? I speak dwarfish, goblin, and orcish. Uh, it looks like a rune of protection is etched into this armor, and it's half plate. You said, mm -hmm. uh, orcish plus size. one half plate. Pardon? Plus one half plate. Plus one half plate. Hey, so Robert, this, uh, can you not, wear this? I'm uh, going to ask him. He's not there yet. Oh, okay. But yes. Boom, 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 boom. Felix, uh, you are given a small box inside. There are vials. Eight of them. Uh, are there instructions? To, if not, I'm going to ask her, what do I do with these? Those are the potions of healing you requested. Yeah. Chapter oh. <laughs> Just give well, a very open look underneath, and what do I see? 
There's a little tiny comb and a glass vial of ointment. <laughs> a tiny comb for a can. <laughs> no. Thank you, sister. <laughs> I'm guessing this is pubic hair and bite you. Uh, that's so the comb hey, been hey, is that a white <laughs> blue? I, is it? I don't. I have no idea. I just know the tiny comb joke. <laughs> but, uh, Guys, I got dinner for us tonight. <laughs> you like seafood food for Seafood. Uh, <laughs> uh, Haggis and Manfang, you head back around the back. Uh, give me Manfang, you're the new one. Give me an investigation check. Well, I kind of want to ask the. Even if I do something. figure out that he's whatever he is, I'm still going to wave and say hello. Sure. <clears throat> Investigation. Of course, it's minus three. That's a 13. Oh, yeah, you don't see anything. What'd you say, Haggis? All right. Can I ask the mistress something? Sure. Okay. Um, I, I tell her I am one that likes to pay respect to the dead. So I ask, do you have a cemetery here? It's out back. Are, are we permitted to go to it? You can go to it. I wouldn't go inside. Why do you say that? Full moon. Bad things happen in the cemetery. All right. Okay, I'm going to go to the cemetery with uh, Man Fang. Okay. Hey, there's nobody there. Nobody there. Nope. You want to go in? Yeah, I want to go to the place where the a man was. <laughs> Sure, that works. Uh, Felix, Copius, uh, I will, wait, 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 wait. Before he goes, I will just. Am I with him at the same time? Because if I am, I would like to follow five feet behind. Yes, you are. Okay, then I would like to follow five feet behind, just in case. Sure. He's still coming in. He, he's coming yes, in I'm too. Still, I'm still going in, yes. Copius, Felix, and Leaf, a disheveled Robert of Zeppelin appears uh, clean, uh, but holding damaged armor. Uh, everything looks normal ish. Ish, well, hey Robert, how you feeling? He's doing this. <clears throat> F this place, F these women, F this everything, effigy, 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 effigy. So that's uh, yeah. that's a thumbs up on the Yelp review, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This, this chapel gets two thumbs down. I'll ask Robert if he can wear a half plate. Of course it can. Here. Have this. It's plus the door one. Shuts to the public area as the abbotus says, uh, we will see you in 10 days. Okay. I'll give him that half Start plate. Start the timer. <laughs> Those healing potions, what were they? Were they, I got eight of them. Are they? 1d8 plus two. 1d8 plus two. Okay. Yep, straight up normal potions. Uh, Leaf, Copious, Felix, give me insight checks, please. How do you get them? <laughs> that wasn't very good. Ten. Fourteen. Fourteen. Being around 16? 30 people. Or uh, Copious, uh, yeah. you're missing some people. Sex. I, I could tell. Sex. I, could I, tell. I, I don't see yeah. uh, Haggis or yeah, Anfang. Nope. I I'm going to look at Leaf and I Felix. Really like, do you guys know where Haggis and Manfang went? They went around the corner, said something about going to the cemetery. Can I just scream for no random reason, like a scream of terror, just sure. so they know where we are? All right, I will scream a scream of terror. You're on the wrong end, so they don't hear you. All right, cool. Isn't this I, amazing? We could say anything we want. Yeah, man. All right, I'm going to suggest to leave, grab the zonkeys. Let's not leave them alone. Let's go around the side and pick them up so we can head down the road. We've got 10 days before we all yep. broke. <clears throat> all right, let's get going. Manfang Haggis Initiative. Initiative? The Manfang Haggis Initiative? Or I'm going to ask Robert if... Natural 20, baby! The side, wait, wait, effects, from the side effects from the, the abatis. Did she tell you about the side effects of your procedure? What side effects? I guess. Oh. 14. Uh, two great creatures appear. Man Fang, you're up first. Can I wave and say hi? Sure can. Then I will do that. I'll say howdy, neighbor. Oakley, oh. don't. Haggis, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> I just really uh, want to do that. <laughs> can I, um, 
<laughs> Let's take a time. Pulling out a big red for man thing now. <laughs> <laughs> this does not call for that dire. What, what, what are they doing? Are they charging at us with a weapon or something? Neither one has a weapon. They are moving towards you. Looks like they're going to claw you. This is bad touch. I do not accept. Robert, you might want to go ahead and continue with rolling up that first level character. <laughs> do they look human? Do they look? I human? already finished it. I'm good to go. Just uh, change the name on it. Did you ever see Poltergeist Hoggis? Okay. It, Step it's into a, the light, Kelly. It's, it, it's a skeletal creature that looks like it was at one time alive. Okay. Ah. Um, I um pick up Man Fang and uh, and I run with him. He's waving like he's Forrest Gump. So no, it's... <laughs> uh, that will be red is Man Fang, black and white is Hoggis. Bang for us. Uh, you guys doing it plus four. Uh, 18 to Manfang, 19 to Hoggis. Does that hit? Oops. Uh, 18 is the exact points of my armor class. So. Love Big Red. Uh, both of you need a constitution save. Oh, this is and good. you're going to take damage. Seven. Add <laughs> your bonus, Frank. Uh, it's an 11. <laughs> Uh, each of you take four hit points, and each of you are paralyzed. Um, uh, Copious, give me a D four, please. Just so you, just so you know, I have like a certain amount of hit points that I really don't want to lose. Uh, Copious, after Robert gives his diatribe on how bad this place is, you guys will dick around for four <laughs> rounds while Man Fang and Haggis get the shit kicked out of them. Round two, I assume Robert is in the middle of the diatribe. Only two hit points of damage to both of you as they begin to rend upon your flesh. Round three, Copius says, hey, everybody, where are the other two? We should go look for them. You guys take seven hit points on this round. Oh. Copious, Leaf, Felix, and Robert, you grab the zonkeys and go around the corner just as you see two ghouls feasting on Haggis. Uh, four hit points in this round as you guys are getting eaten alive. Uh, Leaf, Hey, I'm dying. That would be very nice if you stopped, sir. This is bad. Uh, touch. Leaf, Robert, Copius, and Felix, initiative. Hey, initiative, save me. <laughs> 16. 22. 9. Oh, 1? Again? Again. <laughs> this damn brown dice. 22. Uh, your colleagues are... Getting chewed up. I am putting on that half plate. Jack, my armor rating up that high. Uh, half plate is what seventeen, I think. Uh, plus it's plus one, so that's eighteen plus your dexterity bonus. It's okay. got me at an armor class of twenty. Hey, tank, go run in there. Okay, I'll buy that. I, that's just off of what uh, all I did was remove studded armor and added the plus one half armor in uh, D and D Beyond, and that's what it put it at. Oh, I'll that's trust sad, that. Right? That's fine. It seems a little high, but what's your dexterity? Yeah, I don't matter. Not that high. Oh, I had a dexterity bonus and a plus two miscellaneous bonus. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'd buy that then. That's why. So, yeah, sure, yeah, that's why. you're all armored up, and your friends are being eaten. Hey, hey, hey what are you guys doing in there? That was my turn. We can um <laughs> Frank, half plate is fifteen. The plus one makes it sixteen. Yeah, plus I had uh I had plus four more bonus points. There you go. So that's what it is. Yeah. I, I actually if you click on it, it'll tell you why it gave it to you. So think of that. It's dummy proof. <laughs> uh, sixteen, leaf the druid uh, as Robert Hails his friends. Uh, it's your friend. Yeah, I'm going to probably so roll my first funnel so now. Much. I'm throwing a javelin at one of them. Oh, I'm very old, man. 19. 
I try. Oh yeah, easily hits it. I don't want kind of damage. I, I just hang on. Because you're both dumbasses, you I want you to die six. six a little bit. I'm gonna switch. I'm, I'm, right, I'm, uh, I'm almost dead. That's uh, six points. We've got like eleven hit points left. We won't let you completely die. That's six, not something we play. <laughs> yeah, ask him. <laughs> uh, next up is the nine. Your guys is uh, you know, charisma might go down a little bit after this, but it can't go down any lower. Uh, after this, people will just hate me when they look at me. You're uh, correct. Exactly. Hits. I just my face looks like a nutsack at this. Fourteen point. hits. Are you aiming for Leafs or the other one? Uh, the same one that Leaf hit. Try to take right. him down as quickly as possible. Twelve points of damage. Uh, that puts him down. Uh, odd Manfang, even Haggis. Two Haggis is no longer being bitten. Of course, uh, I'm still being eaten. Don't worry. You won't last that much longer as he <laughs> chews into your flesh for three more hit points of damage. And that brings us to Master One. <laughs> Are you My sure you rolling that on purpose? <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm just going to suggest this, that I only have eight hit points left, and I'm going to die. And I'm rolling 2d4, so... Uh-huh. So close your eyes, blindfold yourself, and then shoot into uh, combat. Don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll do some mending hand healing on you like you did my other character. I will... <laughs> touch me once. I am backhanding you to the floor. I will shoot at the creature that is... Attacking man thing. And hope oh, you don't God. make a boo-boo. And I rolled an eight. Oh, thank you. At least Bing. it did. Up and over. I have already gone. That takes us to the top. Uh, Robert, strangely, the creatures did not respond to you. All right. Let's just, uh, you know, side hip a firebolt shot to the last creature. Right into man thing. <laughs> oh, I, gotta, I guess I got to roll to, for my magic. Don't yep. I? You're wild. You sure do. Where is that? I know it's on here somewhere. He rolled a three. Ah, uh, it's it's plus four. Nope, I rolled an eight. Can't even uh, save you. Uh, wild magic. Oh, that's right. I rolled a four. No wild magic. Uh, Leaf, there's only one left, and it is just absorbing uh, Man Fang's arm. I tried. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and cast healing, uh, healing word on Man Fang. On the know. ghoul, you're casting. Yeah, heal the there. ghoul. <laughs> See if you can bring the ghoul back to its normal form, That's and then 11, it'll continue. It's eleven points. Oh, thank God! That's what it is. So now he can stop bitching that he's gonna die. Copious, yeah. you're up. Well, if I roll max damage, I can do twenty-eight points of damage to Man Fang. So, <laughs> sure, well, that I did what I could, Man Fang. Sorry. And boy, I tried. Uh, <laughs> 10 and 15. Uh, the 15 does hit. All right. Phew. Six points. Still up. Uh, Man Fang, you taste delicious. Whoa, I know. Seven hit points. <laughs> Damn, he was <laughs> almost, almost at you. Uh, Jesus. Okay there, William Tell. <laughs> It's up to 19 you. to hit. That gets him. Okay. Come on, put okay. him down. Wait, did you were you aiming for the ghoul? Yeah. That's true. He did not oh, say yeah. that. He didn't say. Just oh, say. I would, I assumed that I was aim, taking a consecutive you shot. Know, and we assumed that we were aiming at man thing. So you know. Right. <clears throat> so four plus three plus thirteen. Twenty damage. Carry, carry the remainder. Uh, that is good enough as you bury your arrow right into his skull. Haggis, give me a constitution save. Uh, five. Still paralyzed. Uh, at the beginning of the new round, Man Fang, you will be allowed to make a constitution save now that you're not being eaten. Thanks. I appreciate your help especially. I tried. Uh, <laughs> yeah, wing, wow. And then you yell to go up to Felix and say, Felix, don't you dare give e either of those two idiots a healing potion. <laughs> uh, what healing potions? <laughs> the eight All I got was this you. tiny comb. Yes. This, oh, God. 
I assume it's great for the mustache I was going to grow. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll go up and heal crap stain. So uh, well, I, I, I got to lay hands on him. So I'll, well, one hand's still carrying these poopy drawers they made me take out of the abbey. Lands so right, across his eyes. Eyes. Right, right across his eyes so he can't see the healing practice. He's paralyzed. He can't do anything about it. That's true. And then, you know, I'll start doing my hands on him. Does he got any gold coins on him? I guess what you got on you. Uh, oh, it's in your prison pouch. Three, four, six. That's bad touch. If you do that, you're what, going to jail. What's he got? Three, four, six. Three, three hundred forty-six. Yeah. Who killed? Who killed Haggis's creature? Felix, or I'm sorry, Copius did. Oh, here, Copius. Haggis wants you to have these five gold <laughs> for saving him. <laughs> Oh, and then, oh, oh, he's only giving me three, you know, three gold for. Now I'm going to lay <laughs> some hands on him. All right, let's make sure the prostate's clear. We're doing a little checkity checkity here, and let's see what my spell range is. Hey, that's is. bad touch. You can't do that. Ah, uh, we're not doing that. We are it's curing wounds. August, start screaming, stranger danger. <laughs> <laughs> I, just I cannot I, scream yet. Ouch. Uh, folks, this this is PG. Uh, yes. Just, uh, Eleven points of health back to Haggis. Haggis. Haggis right, and Manfang, give me cotton rolls. Also, come on, boys. two more ghouls are coming from the back of the cemetery. Can someone drag me? I can't move. We need um, to get them yeah, out of the cemetery. Wait, wait, wait. wait is it con? Hey, you're looking over here, say. bud. So that's Man, a 19. Uh, it's plus okay. six. Uh, paralysis has worn off both of you. Uh, you're gonna have some minor scarring, not hardly noticeable whatsoever. Not compared to Man Fang's normal scarring. That's true. There are let's, two ghouls headed this way, though. Come on, boys, let's get out of here. Let's okay, go we're ahead. safe if we leave the cemetery. That's what I'm playing it as. And if it's not, who cares? We got a mission. Let's leave this place. Yeah, let's go. Unfortunately, it's 1 a.m. and you guys are dog ass tired. Uh, we all just the back back to the front of the I thought I felt revived. I learned this horrible heartburn I got going on right now. Oh, yeah, you've got all your hit points, but you're tired. I'm tired. Levels of exhaustion are about to set in. I'll take first watch. In the Immediately cemetery. right now? Can we leave the cemetery? Can we get you yeah. know a distance away it's, from the cemetery? It's 1 a.m. right now, yeah. Is there any hey, they, the public the barn? Of the abbey? Oh I do not want to sleep at that abbey. Well, yeah, you go back to the public area of the abbey. We might have to bring our zonkies in so they're not outside in the dark. <laughs> no, nope. zonkies are not out. allowed in the abbey. Leaf took his in there. Yeah, she picked me, me take out. It out. I didn't say we go in the waiting room, but the 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 entry way that you know, just outside the uh, waiting yeah. room, <laughs> and then set up yeah. right there. I, yeah, See, the the abbot has said, "Don't go around behind because of the cemetery." I feel and you guys watch. did. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, don't you need to specify it wasn't you guys? Is the dumbasses? Hey. Actually, actually, you guys rescued them, so you all went. No, you weren't That's supposed. true. <laughs> all right, let's go back up to the public area and camp out there. And again, I'll take first watch. We'll just run and watch us. Is this abbey made out of wood or stone? It's wood. So Don't if we make a no, <laughs> no. You, you will you will not be able to set fire to it. That is part of the spell. So you will never inflict negative. I guess we'll set fire to the them. town. How's that? That makes you feel better. Yeah, well, you, I was thinking about making a to fire town. to like you know, so we stay hey, here, fire, you know, to sleep. Sure. Yeah, you can do that. I I have a cantrip. Okay, you want a bonfire? But there you go, bonfire. Oh, I got that one too. I like that one. Oh, I got that How one do you too. think I set all these houses on fire? <laughs> <laughs> That's my number one cantrip. So great bonfire, burn down the village. Essentially, you are going to have every UFO in the region coming in for the strange bonfire sigils that you are making. Yes. Uh, okay, Leaf, you are going to take first watch. First There's watch. going to be two watches. It's so late. Who's taking the second watch? I, I will take second watch. Oh, oh, All right. Look, he spoke first. First Who's watch. Up? I can see in the dark. Me too. First watch, D12 for me, please. It's not dark. There's bonfires everywhere. <laughs> Seven. Oh, 
<laughs> 12. Uh, there is a Damn wailing it. from the rear of the abbey. You can't clearly make it out, but there's definitely a wail back there. Okay. No effect on I'm me. Just, I'm sleeping. I'm just going to stay alert. That's all. Uh, copious D12. Itch and you got the crabs? Eight. Uh, when Leaf wakes you up, uh, <laughs> there's no wailing, so night passes uneventfully. Does the wailing sound like this? No. No. It doesn't. It's a banshee. Uh, you are at day one plus eight hours. All right. <laughs> Time to head out. Yes. And I'm going to die. My points. Where are you going? Well, no one bothered to ask where the... <laughs> no, they did not. <laughs> well, I assume that the geese that we've got, it just kind of, we just know. Oh, yeah. Right? It did say we were very, um, like, yeah. motivated to and go to it. You put so let's follow our heart. To go. Let's follow our heart. Yeah. Hey, you're, to go. you're going west. That's for sure. Yeah. Where, where's that stupid case well, of yours? Here. Can't you pull a map out of the direction to go? Can't you just... Rub its butt and make magic happen. Um, hey, that's bad touch. You can't do that. You can't on a case. The the map that I have, the map that I have of this area, I don't think it had anything for ruins in the. Well, let's knock on a door and ask the nuns. It probably you know, doesn't hurt while I, we're still here. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll do that cut, 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 map, you know, land map, kind of, of you know, for the tree yes. and surrounding environments. So, because no. I, I do have a map uh, that's not filled in. But then let's show it to someone in the uh, abbey and say, can you on the map give us some indication where we're going? Give me a persuasion check. Maybe they're in 10 day slumber because of their, like 21. How dirty is that 21? It's pretty dirty. It is That's in one of those three like locations. It. That's gross. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'm grossing my son out. You are. Well, so we still have, have a, a general location. So we go, we go one hex past Smidge's Roadhouse, and then north. Okay. Where are we at in this map? Tree Orky. Oh my! We're that far away. Oh, yeah. I thought we were at that tower. No. Oh, we're at that star right there. You just put on. Yeah. yeah. Day day one of travel will be here. Day two of travel will be here. Day three of travel will be Smidge's Roadhouse. Were we not supposed to go there? Okay. No, no, not, not supposed the barbecue. to eat the barbecue. Barbecue, yeah, barbecue. All right, I'm having the barbecue. Right. As soon as we'll we head there. to Smidge's Roadhouse then. Yep, follow the road to Smidge's Roadhouse. Are we going to get picked up by, what's your name? But Large marriage halfway there? No. We, we have, have, we're going to catch a ride with Dalton. Uh, Dalton's going to pick us up. Just hey. keep on. We have, a, we have eight <clears throat> days of travel. Yeah. Twist. So you got two days to die inside. Yeah, this this will be hours, not a full day. Oh, just smidges. search all three locations? Well... <laughs> That that's that might be a problem. <laughs> Looks for Smedge's Roadhouse. Let's see if we can get more information. The good news is day one passes uneventfully. You pass through Triorki. Uh, you can pick up some food, some oats for a Buttercup and the other uh, zonkeys, and head out. You will re you will reach the crossroads uh, day two plus eight. So uh, day three will start in the morning because you got that eight hour lag time from midnight so you want to get back by midnight on day 10 so everybody's got that part right yep yeah day one yes. of travel from triorki passes uneventfully Yay. Day, day two you're going to meet some company what kind road. of company nice company well his name is dalton he looks really good without a shirt on. He's got some scars and his flowing I, hair. Yes, but I think today is a good day to stop at this That's point. Exactly. So uh, let's go final thoughts, starting with Haggis. 
the oh, ghoul slayer. <laughs> that could be on your resume, ghoul slayer. Well. Yeah, if you actually killed one. Well, that's the that's the thing. Uh, I enjoy a lot of itchy party members. I think did, ghoul. Did, did he ever wash the shit off his face? Because he he does have crap stain on him now. <laughs> He has been Simbud. He forgot that part. I crap stained him. You took your underwear and did like the Simba. <laughs> yeah, his crap stain. He, he did. I did not. He can off. survive anything. Oh, sure. We'll go with that one. August. He doesn't get pink eye because he already has it. Uh, Copious, what's, uh, what are your final thoughts on this one? I'm thinking we're going to be a notch on the DM's uh, dice bag with a TPK when day 11 rolls around. <laughs> Oops. Uh, man, Fang, what are you thinking? I thought that I almost died and that <laughs> I thought that I used barely an Almost point. died? You had more hit points than I did when you got to your lowest. Hey. That's I, true. I, I, I was going to point that out. Hit. See, that, that's more than you have. Which means Ro better. Robert, you survived. What do you think? Uh, I'm, I'm still going to give the Abbey two thumbs down on Yelp. Uh, the nuns can kiss my white patootie, well, grayish, orcish, humanish patootie. Kind of uh, greenish. Yeah, it, you, you might want to comb some of the hair out of the way. I think Felix has to <laughs> That's right. We we can use that. I do. I do. I did have a few fleas left over from the rat. Other than that, uh, I was worried. I was. I had two characters rolled up, ready to go. <laughs> uh, Felix, what do you think? Well. Felix had a good time. I was a little reluctant <laughs> to get the spell That's at first, quick. but now I'm just I'm so ready to go get those gems. Hail Xanthia! I don't know why, but Felix is going to continue cha uh, chanting that sure. until this wears so off. He's stoked, man. This is it. Yes. This is this is what he was designed yes. for. Uh, uh, Leaf, uh, what'd you think? I think they're all crazy. <laughs> That's what I, I think. I don't think that's a stretch. I, I, I like the turn that this is all taken. We needed to get out of the mundane, you know, dealing with crap and go somewhere where we can replenish our. We need to get out of the mundane, of gold and gems and wondrous and things. Who knows? Maybe you get money and maybe even level up again. It's yeah. Hard to say. Maybe uh, but, there we go. I, I, I'm I'm thinking you probably won't be burning more towns at least for a while. So. Not for a while. You know, I am glad that I, I went dual with the cleric celebration because a lot of the spells piggyback on the ones I already have. Yeah, uh, you and you guys will need it. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the yep. tri generational Margu campaign. Thank you for joining us. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot the shit about DD. Join our Discord if you want to buy our crap. Go ahead. Uh, thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, for almost getting two of them tonight. Uh, and don't forget, our game doesn't stink. But if your game does, try Adventure Sense by uh, oddfishgames.com, maker of uh, the Shine system as well. Folks, for all of us here, uh, good luck fighting off the Daylight Savings Time Blues. Have a great week, and we will see you on Tuesday for the talk show. Mwah! Bye, everybody.